Hello and welcome to Informatica Supports video KB session. This is Karthik Rajendra. In this session, we are going to see a simple example of how to create a serialized project using data transformation. A serializer is nothing but it's a component in data transformation that converts XML format into any other format. So for our case, we'll just see a example where we convert the XML format to a flat file. This is a simple serializer. And we'll look into some of the serializer con concepts like content serializer, string serializer, and repeating with serializer, which are the basic uh, uh, concepts that are, that are used in the serializer, uh, which can be used to build a more complex serializer. So let's go into the demo now. So first, I am going to create a blank project. I'm creating a new project and I just choose a blank project. You can also create a serializer project. Um, uh, either way is fine. So I'm just giving some name. This is the name of the project. And uh, now I have created a blank script. There's nothing in the script because I created a blank project. So I'm going to code everything. And so what is the first thing that is necessary for a serializer? So if you're going to write a serializer, your XML is going to be the source. So you need the definition for that XML. So you need to import the XST file, which has the uh, XML's definition, the data's definition. So let me go here and add the XST file, which is going to be our input basically. So this is the XST file. So I've added that. Now uh, let's uh, start uh, creating the serializer. So let me go here. I'm just going to name my serializer this and I'm going to make this the serializer. And uh, one thing we can do always for serializers and mappers, uh, we can choose the source locator. So basically locator is nothing but letting the serializer know that what is the route from where we are going to traverse down. So the report, this is the root element of the XST that we have imported. So I'm just selecting that as the source locator for this particular serializer. So if we see what's exactly in the, in, this is the input file. Let's open the input file. It's a very simple XML file. So this is the content of the input file. So what we want to do, I want to get all this content, the name, age, sex, and uh, the years, uh, and the value of the, the Q value, everything. I want to get it as a comma delimited data in a flat file. So what can we do for that? So first, objective is going to uh, is uh, how we are going to get the actual data from the input XML file and output it to the flat file. So for that we have something called content serializer. So a content serializer what it basically does is for a content serializer you can give a data holder. This data holder, you will basically choose a, a XST element for this. So basically I've chosen the name. So whatever, so it will go into the uh, XML file and it will search for the name tag and whatever the value of name tag, it will basically output to the flat file. That's all the content serializer uh, does. If you want this name to be prefixed as suffix by some other value, you can hard code them here in the opening and the closing string. In our case, we don't need that. All we do uh, need is just take the name and write it to the output file. So I'm doing that. Similarly, what we'll do, we'll write the age, sex also to the output file and I'll run it and show how the output looks. And also one more thing before doing that. So we want these outputs, uh, the name, age and sex to be uh, delimited by comma. 
So for that, we'll use a string serializer. A string serializer is nothing but if you want some value which is not in the input file, but you want it to be output to the output file, you can hard code that value using a string serializer. Using a string serializer. So once I put the comma here, it's just after the name is printed out, it's just going to print the comma. So whatever value you put in the string serializer, it's just going to be output to the output file. So now this is done. So what I'm going to do, same thing we are going to do for two more times, right? Because we want to do it for age and sex. I'm just copy pasting it instead of creating it new. I'll just copy paste this. And just change the XML tags to whatever value we want it to be. So now here, this is going to be age. And now this is the same. It's going to be comma. And now this is going to be sex. And this is not a content serializer, my bad. This is going to be again a string serializer, which is going to be comma. So we have created a simple serializer with content serializer and string serializer. Let's run it now. We haven't completed the serializer yet, but I want to just show you the output so that you can uh, visualize how the output looks like, right? Like basically you can see how, how the output uh, looks like. So. so run, it's going to ask us to select the input file. So. Let's go and select the input file, which is nothing but output.xml, and run this. So now we have run this, and if we see the output.txt, you got the, oh, okay, I, I, I think I made a mistake. So basically, there are two content serializers with the name. In fact, three. So let me get rid of this. I get rid of you yeah, now, which should be correct. And I need to add a string serializer. Okay, I fixed the serializer. So basically now we have a content serializer name and then there's a comma and then there's age and then there's comma and then there's sex and there's again a string serializer which outputs a comma. So now I run this. And if we see the output, we can see the name, age and sex. So now comes the interesting part where we have to get these Q values. So basically, instead of writing one for each of this, this is like a, you can see it's a repeating structure. So you can basically use something called a repeating group serializer. Uh, some of you might be familiar with repeating groups. Basically, it's nothing but something which loops uh, into repeating structures and gets the data out of them. Uh, it's can, There are repeating uh, groups for parsers and there's a repeating group for serializer. So basically, we will use a, we'll use a repeating group serializer. And so you are getting the data of each uh, repetitive elements, but what you want uh, to be the delimiter that separates the data. So that's what, uh, that's one thing we have to give here in the separator. The separator, we'll use a string serializer and again output a comma like we have done before. And then here, it's inside the repeating group serializer, it's going to be a content serializer where basically you're going to get the content of Q. If similarly, you can get these two values also, but for just for the example, I will just get the value of uh, Q. So now uh, let me save this and run this. And if you see the output, we have got the 
uh, value of whatever this five six seven three the value of uh, that Q element as so we have got it here. So basically, yeah, this is a simple example of um, creating a serializer. Basically, we saw we took an XML file, we imported the XST, and uh, we created a serializer. And we saw how the content serializer works, how the string serializer works, and how the repeating root serializer works. This is a very simple example. There are more uh, uh, components that can be used within the serializer, but these are the basic building blocks of the serializer. So once you are familiar with this, you will be able to uh, understand the other concepts better and build more complex serializers. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, uh, we would like to get your feedback. Uh, you can send your feedbacks to support our videos at informatica.com. Also, you can uh, give your feedbacks at twitter.com slash infrasupport. Thank you.